Honorable Mohamed Budaji Kazauri, member representing Kazauri, Roni, Wiwa, and Enkwashi. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Gaza State. Mr. Speaker, first things I, can, I, say, I will say in this 2022 budget, I commend and I salute Mr. President. Seriously, Mr. President break history in this country in terms of budget implementation. Because we can witness 2022 and this 2021 that is ongoing, it's implemented 100%, which since I joined politics, I never see 100% implementation. But my observation, Mr. Speaker, in this budget is, first of all, in the health. When you look at the budget and calculate well, you will see that it's 2.7% put in the health and 3.7% in education. Seriously, these two places need a good money because Mr. President said on this floor when he is presenting budget that this is the last budget be, um, to be implemented by this administration. So in education and the health, seriously, we need to put more money so that we can upgrade all our health uh, sectors. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, in terms of unemployment, we have to put at least out of that 16 trillion, one trillion supposed to go for employment, to put it for employment, employing unemployment youth, one trillion. And it's supposed to be every year, one trillion will go for, on, for employment. I am sure if we, we do that, we will eradicate unemployment gradually in this country. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, we have to fear God and go for oversight. Members, we have to go straighten oversight. Because playing with the oversight is the thing that makes MDS to do whatever they want. Most of the MDS are playing for implementation after the president has released 100% money. I surprise when I see some project is not implemented. And I heard that president approved 100% release. So seriously, if we put eye on MDS, the grassroots will enjoy the dividend of democracy. Thirdly, Mr. Speaker, Look at the debt service. The debt service, Mr. Speaker, last year is two point something. This year is three point something trillion. We're supposed to straighten our anti-corruption wall. I am sure, Mr. Speaker, if we go in a serious investigation and created anti-corruption strong anti-corruption team. We will recover money that we will implement 10 years budget in this country. Because we cannot put eye on the on people in the previous government looted money, they are enjoying money inside the air condition and the eating chicken. And we are borrowing money to implement budget, Mr. Speaker. Seriously, is is as they are is paid law. Let this government, and I am advising this house and the federal government to straighten the anti-corruption because I can see a official, a government official walking inside the government, sleeping inside the two, three billion house. And Mr. Speaker, we say we are fighting corruption. I am sure if we put eye well, well, and investigate and do interrogation camp within the cis geopolitical zone, 
like in the East, we do a strong interrogation camp in Sambisa. Whoever has been arrested will go there. He will tell where he buried the dollar. Because people bury the dollar like a dead body in this country, Mr. Speaker. That is why dollar is scarce. That is why dollar is scarce. And when we go deep, Mr. Speaker, seriously into this investigation, you will surprise the dollar you will, you will see. We will implement 10 years budget without borrowing any cobble. Because we, we, this country, Mr. Speaker, we are blessed in the previous government look at $148 per barrel. That is how we sell it. Where is that money? Designing alone goes with $65 billion. And she is living in, inside the air condition in London. Mr. Speaker, how can we say we are fighting corruption? So seriously, Mr. Speaker, this borrowing, if Mr. President will put red eye on the anti-corruption agencies, and I am advising Mr. President to put his glass, not white glass, black glass, on this, this anti-corruption agency, to do a strong investigation where our leakages, money that go like money in the public servant, Mr. Speaker, if you were surprised. So seriously, Mr. Speaker, that is why we are suffering because we came to the government without money, and we find the the, the, the crude oil price has gone down. Why the crude oil has gone down, Mr. Speaker? We we, we find the crude oil has already gone down, and we no no money to implement budget. That is why we are borrowing. But why? Where is the money we get before we come to the government? When the when the petrol uh, crude oil is, is, is reasonable uh, price, with a reasonable price in the, in the market. Where are the money? For almost five to six years, we are selling two point something million barrel times $148, Mr. Speaker. And uh, my last advice is there is issue of farmers. All these bushes you see in this country, Mr. Speaker, that is occupied by criminals now. We're supposed to clear that bush, introduce mechanized farming. This budget, let agri take money. Let us put money to farmers and take it direct to them from Ministry of Agri, direct to the farmers. Mr. Speaker, I am sure if we do this, we will, by next year, Maybe we will forget what is called oil revenue. Through farming, we can get money that we can implement budget and we will not rely on the oil because oil has gone. Development has come in the... Look at the, the, uh, some country, even yesterday, Mr. Speaker. But this is Chief, we're not willing to ask you to... Okay, <laughs> good time. Good time. <laughs> your time is off. <laughs> no, Mr. Speaker, Chief is enjoying what I am saying. Because I'm telling the truth, Mr. Speaker. That is the reality. That is the reality, Mr. Speaker. I am telling the truth. And seriously, Mr. Speaker, if we clear that places and put money in the department, we will eradicate unemployment. We will allocate all these hectares, hectares to our team on unemployment youth, and the majority of our people will go for farming different varieties of farming in the different our geopolitical zone. At last, we will reduce the rely on oil. Seriously, we Th reduce the rely on oil. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am very grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, on a good that are, they are in place for for the organisations that we think should be implementing. Thank, thank you, Gudaji.